Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by Ideas. This video is very important for all of the students who have qualified and selected for PhD. So in various research institutes, IIT, NIT, ISAR, all over India, or in, in fact, it is also applicable for outside India. So once you have cleared the exam, uh, for example, NET or PhD entrance exam, as well as you have qualified the PhD interview, so then very warm welcome and also very good congratulations uh, from all of our team. But this is not the end of your journey. This is actually the beginning of your PhD journey. And before joining the institute, you always remember you have to think a lot before joining the institute for a degree like PhD. Because PhD, it's not just like a degree or it's not objective degree. Like after five years, you will get PhD. This is a subjective degree. That means the degree is dependent on you as well as your supervisor. And the signature on your thesis will be put by your thesis supervisor. So this is come purely most of the time it is a subjective degree and mostly in uh, Indian institutes. So what you should keep in mind before joining PhD? Please check the institute rules properly before joining the PhD. How do you do that? You can check the PhD institute rule or broker and check the duration and available fellowships and the duration of fellowship, PhD. Next, to join any lab, please do some basic exercise about the lab. For example, what is the lab all about? How is the supervisor? What is the Google Scholar profile? What is the research quality of the lab? As well as take feedback from the students and also from the ex-student the, of the faculty which you are going to join the group. For example, how do you recognize whether I should join the institute or not because it's not about the institute remember it's about the faculty and if you take feedback from the already alumni of that group let's say some students who have already got their degree from that particular group they can guide you what is the expectation and how much you can get out of the group and also you can definitely check with the present students to just to know about the lab environment the lab facilities and what is the main research so remember if you are coming to phd this is a commitment for minimum five years so your five year is going to be your own journey of learning as well as a crucial time for career development and skill development how much is the lab environment what how it will affect your mental health that will also going to be affect your physical health so that's why this is a very important part of your uh, life that you choose your supervisor wisely and uh, how do you choose that after getting all this feedback and checking the google scholars if you get positive responses and the quality of research papers of the lab if it is good then definitely you should choose if the professor give usually gives the degree within five years or within the duration of the fellowship of the student uh, without exaggerating the uh, amount uh, duration then of course this is a very nice um, the lab i should say and also please do all the uh, required uh, exercises that you should do before joining the institute so i hope all the best to all of you and please watch this video and share this video to all of the needy students subscribe to our channel for more regular updates thank you